In the previous video, we looked at what piston pump flow rate was. Now we will discuss how to calculate the piston pump displacement and the piston pump flow rate. The piston pump displacement is equal to the number of cylinders multiplied by pi or 3.14 multiplied by the bore divided by 2 squared multiplied by the stroke. The bore and the stroke need to be in inches because our piston pump displacement will have units of cubic inches. Make sure you take the bore divided by 2 and square that quantity. Using parentheses in your calculator will help make sure you enter that part correctly. Once you find the piston pump displacement, then you can find the piston pump flow rate. The piston pump flow rate is equal to the piston pump displacement multiplied by the speed in revolutions per minute divided by the constant 231. The piston pump flow rate will be in gallons per minute. Let's take a look at an example on how to find the piston pump displacement and flow rate. A six cylinder radial hydraulic pump has a bore of 0.75 inches and a stroke of 0.625 inches. What will be the flow rate of this pump if it is operated at 1400 revolutions per minute? First, before we can find the flow rate, we need to find the piston pump displacement, which I will abbreviate with PPD. Like we saw in the last slide, piston pump displacement is equal to the number of cylinders multiplied by pi, multiplied by the bore divided by two squared, multiplied by the stroke. We have six cylinders, and we can substitute 0.75 in for the bore, and 0.625 in for the stroke. When we multiply this, and you will definitely want to check this on your calculator, you should get 1.657 cubic inches for your piston pump displacement. Now that we have the displacement, we can find the piston pump flow rate by taking the pump displacement and multiplying by the speed of the pump and dividing by 231. Substituting in 1.657 cubic inches for the displacement, 1400 for the speed, and dividing by 231, we end up with a flow rate of 10 gallons per minute. This concludes our discussion of hydraulic pumps.